64 years ago, during the height of the space race, America had a secret plan to nuke the moon. It was called Project A119, and it almost happened in 1958. The U.S. Air Force wanted to send a nuclear bomb into space and blow it up on the surface of the moon. They estimated that a three-kiloton nuclear weapon detonated on the moon would be visible from Earth as a bright flash and a giant plume of smoke. It would basically be a huge middle finger to the Soviets. But why? Why would they want to do this? Well, in 1957, the USSR had shocked the Americans by launching the first-ever satellite into space. This kicked off a frantic period known as the Space Race. Both the U.S. and USSR started throwing everything they had into beating each other to the punch with new and innovative technologies. The U.S. wanted to show the Soviets that they were still the boss. And what better way to do that than by nuking their biggest symbol yet, the moon? It was a dangerous and controversial plan, but it almost happened. In July of 1958, the Air Force sent a group of scientists to Los Alamos to develop the technology needed to deliver a nuclear payload to the moon. At the time, the U.S. didn't have a rocket powerful enough to reach the moon, so they turned to the next best thing, a modified version of the Atlas missile. The plan was to launch the nuclear warhead into space and then transmit a signal to the warhead to detonate it over the moon's surface. But there was a problem. The modified Atlas missile couldn't reach the moon either. It fell short by about 1,200 miles. So the Air Force tried again. They developed a new rocket called the Jupiter, which finally reached the moon, or at least they thought it did. In reality, the nuclear payload never made it out of Earth's atmosphere and the mission was aborted. By this point, the Air Force had spent over $20 million trying to nuke the moon, and they were unabout to give up. In October of 1958, they launched one last mission, this time with a much bigger rocket. It was the first in a new series of rockets specifically designed to reach the moon. But it too failed. As it turned out, the Air Force's plan to nuke the moon was just as audacious as it was insane. It was canceled soon after the first moon landing in 1969, but it set a reminder of just how close we came to some serious cosmic vandalism. Now you know. Hit the like button for more space stories every day.